Hello students, the last session we learned about unit of mass. Now we shall learn about acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. How we get this value? Let us learn about acceleration. Acceleration is the Change in velocity with respect to time. What is velocity? Velocity is the change in displacement with respect to time. Then what is displacement? Okay, let us consider this ball. If we give a force on this ball, this ball will move for a while and stop at a point. Why this happens? Because the gravitational pull of Earth is attracting this ball towards the ground, and air around this ball tries to stop this ball, and the friction of the floor also reduces the force applied on the ball and stops the movement of the ball. Now, displacement is the length of straight line between the start point and the end point of the ball that is from here to there the length of the straight line between the start point and end point of the ball is called the displacement in order to find out the velocity of the ball we should apply a formula that is velocity is equal to displacement by time taken that is displacement is the length of this line from the starting point of the ball to the end point of the ball and time taken t is the time taken by the ball to reach this end point from the start end. Now, if I tap this ball with a more force, now the ball travels faster, the same displacement happens at a faster time. So, what will happen? Now, the time taken will be reduced and the velocity will be increased. So, if force applied on the object is more, then the velocity will increase and the time taken for the reaching the length is reduced. That is, the displacement is more or the displacement happens in a shorter time. So, if force is increased, the velocity will also increase. Now, I am going to tap this ball continuously. Let us see what is happening. So, so, for every tap we provide on this ball, the velocity of this ball increases with respect to time. So, the ball can now reach the same length faster. That is, the velocity increases every time we provide a force on the ball. So, if we tap the ball, the velocity of the ball increases at every tap. First, the ball will be at rest. Now, the velocity is at zero. So, when I tap for the first time, the velocity will be at V1. So, when I tap for the second time, the velocity of the ball will increase and the new velocity will be V2. The third velocity will be V3 when I tap it for the third time. So, for every tap, the velocity of the ball will increase. So, acceleration is the change in velocity with respect to time. That is, the new velocity 
minus the old velocity divided by time. So, when we drop this ball from a height, the ball moves towards the ground faster because every second a force is pulling this ball towards the ground and hence the velocity of this ball increases every second and hence it is called the acceleration due to gravity. So the gravitational pull that pulls this ball down towards the ground will increase the velocity of this ball every second and hence the ball moves faster towards the ground. Drones and any other particle in air moves towards the ground faster when dropped in air because the velocity of the particle moving down towards earth is increased for every second. It is called acceleration due to gravity. Next session we will learn how to make this drone hold its altitude and make a stable position in air against the acceleration due to gravity.